So here we are with the new engine uh, bracket in place. And this engine bracket, of course, holds the uh, the new little bearing retainer. Uh, this is also going to be the mount for the cover that I'm going to make. Sorry, that was the gate slamming shut. Uh, this will be the mount for the cover that I'm going to make that's going to go over this chain so you don't get your pants uh, lodged in there. So, I uh, just want to show you that. Now, what we need to do is get the chain on there and make sure we get the chain nice and tight. I'm actually going to bolt this, the little bearing flange down there. Uh, I'm going to bolt it to this uh, plate instead of welding it. So, uh, we got to get uh, stuff going on that, which, you know, I got to get the, the chain nice and tight so I know where to drill my holes, even though I'll probably make the holes uh, slightly oval so that there's some adjustment there. So, we'll get going on that. I'll get the chain put on, and then we'll uh, get that chain tensioned out. Okay, so I got the chain put on, and as you can see, it's got a little bit of slack in it. That's not too much, but I'd like to take some of that out. So what I'm going to do is come under here and loosen up all these bolts. There should be enough uh, play in there that I can pull the engine forward and snug up this chain. So I'll uh, loosen those bolts and uh, see how much uh, adjustment I can get out of that. If I need to, I can come in here and uh, oval out the holes just a little bit in this direction. So uh, I'll do that. and. Uh, then we'll come back and see how tight we can get that chain. All right, so I've come in here and I've adjusted the engine. I've shoved the engine forward, which is that way, uh, just a little bit. And I got the chain nice and snug down. There is still a little bit more uh, adjustment that I can make, um, mainly just because uh, chain stretch. All chains stretch over time. Uh, of course, the longer the chain, the more it's gonna stretch. So a short chain like this shouldn't stretch too much but I'm sure after, uh, I don't know, 20, 25, 30 miles, something like that, I'll probably have to come in here and adjust this engine a little more to, to get this, uh, uh, the chain tension uh, back to where it needs to be. So uh, now that we got this done, uh, we know the placement of everything, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna mark and uh, drill some holes to, uh, bolt this uh, bearing retainer plate uh, to the bre to the engine bracket I made. So I'll get that bolted on and then I can come in here and I can cut off some of this excess. Uh, but actually I probably won't do that right away. I'll uh, get this bolted in place then I'll come in here and I'll make the shroud that's going to cover the whole thing. The little shroud that I'm going to make that'll uh, bolt to this uh, engine bracket. So, uh, next thing is, uh, yeah, come in here, drill holes and get this bearing flange mounted to the engine plate. Alright, as you can see here, I got that bearing flange uh, bolted to the uh, engine bracket plate. And so the only thing left to do is to go get the, uh, the new uh, locking collar uh, to put around the shaft because as you can see, this bearing comes out real easily. So I did get another locking collar for that. So I'll go and grab that, and then we need to uh, put that on, drill a little landing area for the set screw, like we did for all the other uh, sprockets and the other locking collar. And uh, then we'll be done with this part. And then all we gotta do is just come out here and uh, make the cover that goes around the clutch and the chain and the sprocket so you don't get your uh, shorts and your pants and your uh, leg flesh stuck in there because that would be that would be terrible so anyway I'll uh, go get that locking collar alright so I got the locking collar and on this one I did take the, uh, the little set screw out because like I said we're going to drill another little landing area for this and so slip that on there and actually give me one second okay what I wanted to do is go grab the uh, the outer sprocket here and just double check and make sure we got clearance between this 
uh, the new locking collar and uh, the edge of the shaft and uh, with the or with the with the sprocket. So with the uh, sprocket in place, yeah, we got plenty of room. We got a half inch back there, so we're good to go there. So uh, let me go put the sprocket back, and then I'll come back and work on this locking collar. All right, as you can see there, I got the uh, I took the set screw out of the locking collar, and I'm just going to line it up with this landing area here that I drilled for this for the outer sprocket. So we'll put this in place. This is a spring-loaded punch. However, the spring part is uh, broken, so I just tap it with a hammer now. Oh yeah, that's even better. Okay, so now I'll just uh, disassemble uh, the shaft and everything and take this shaft out and uh, drill that uh, locking collar or uh, drill the whole, drill the landing area for the new locking collar. So, we'll get the shaft pulled and then we'll start on that. All right, as you can see here, we got the, uh, the second little landing area drill for the locking collar. This one is for the sprocket. And again, this one is for the locking collar. So now, all we gotta do is just uh, cram it back into the bicycle. There we go. So I'll go on the other side and put the locking collar on the other side, and then we'll come and work on this side. All right. First thing we got to do is come in here and put our engine bracket back in place. So we'll do that. Take a little bearing out for now. Okay, next thing we gotta do is come in here with our locking collar and we'll see how well that fits. Let me get the camera situated here. And there we go. So I got my little Allen wrench here. Alright, nicely locked in place. Now let's just let me go grab the uh, sprocket. Alright, so now I got the sprocket. We'll come in here and we'll get this put in place. A little keyway set in. Alright, and that's finished. So let me put the clutch on. Alright, so now I just gotta come in here, put all my uh, clutch pieces on. And then we'll come back and do the chain. And that's good enough. I'm just going to hand tighten uh, the clutch for now because all this is going to have to come off and, uh, you know, uh, get painted later on. But that's for a different step. So now I'll get the chain on there. All right. Now we'll just get our chain on there. And no, I'm not wearing my rubber gloves. I am. Uh, completely out of them, so I gotta go buy some new ones pretty soon. So I just have to go wash my hands and uh, try not to get greasy fingerprints all over my camera. And there we go. The drive system uh, is basically completely finished. And uh, so now all we gotta do is come in here and make our little shroud to cover the chain and the sprockets and all that. 